Somebody should have told me it would be like this Be like this Be like this Somebody should have told me it would be like this Yeah Life is a balance You lose your grip, you can slip into an abyss No doubt, you see these niggas tripping Ego in charge of every move, he's a star And we can't look away due to the days that he caught our hearts He's falling apart, but we deny it What's going on YouTube? This is Joe McFly hitting you up with another reaction video to yet another Yankee game. Before I even start, just to let you know, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you do click on the notifications and click on subscribe to get all of your Yankee news, notes, reactions, recap, all of that. A lot of people were wondering and asking me on Twitter why was it that I did not put a video after yesterday's game. <clears throat> the first reason, today we have an off day, so I was thinking, you know what, let me take a step back. So instead of me doing something where I'm super mad, or oh, I wasn't even super mad, but um, something where I'm not looking at everything at all angles, I wanted to do a video where we're talking more about the perspective of where this team is at and where it's going to be, you know, in the month coming up now. So the Yankees have a night off, and I thought, you know what, it'll be a great time but the re the real reason is, is because yesterday is game of thrones and i like to dedicate you know those sunday nights unless there's sunday night baseball so that's the real reason yesterday's game just to just to be able to talk about that a little bit yesterday's game was not what i expected um i expected sunday gray to go out there and of course when I say dominate, I mean give us some length, give us some something, right? And you know what? He gave us something. He did not let the game spiral out of hand. And the fact that yesterday's game felt like a freaking slog fest. It felt like freaking five hours. It felt like you ever walk outside and it's like a humid afternoon and like you walk outside from the AC and it's like it just smacks you in the face and the freaking Indians just tied the game. Let's go. <laughs> I was uh, watching the Red Sox game is on there and Encarnacion has just tied the game which is great it, it just felt like a slog fest it just felt like oh my god it's taking forever I mean Sonny Gray I love you brother but Jesus Christ you take like five hours in between every pitch <sighs> maybe it was just yesterday Porcello's kind of doing the same and then it's like oh my god this game is just dragging let me know if you guys felt the same way uh, let me know in the comments but um, it was just frustrating to watch that game. Also, um, Yankees just did not get too much in manufacturing hits. I believe yesterday, total hits, we only got three hits. Red Sox hit the Yankees in the mouth for 12 hits yesterday. I mean, the one encouraging thing that you can really talk about yesterday is probably Chapman came out. And yeah, you look at the box score, it says, it says, you know, scoreless inning, and he struck out Devers, and it's great. But... The way I kind of look at it is like, you know, he was still getting into deep counts. The ball was kind of going all over the place. And, you know, baby steps. Baby steps to Chapman. We got to take some baby steps to rebuild that confidence of a five-year, $86 million closer. But uh, anyway, we got to go ahead and we got to rebuild that confidence. And then we can be able to go from there. Um, this week is nice. It's important. Um, a lot. There's been a lot of talk in Yankee land about what are we going to do here. I mean, we cannot keep chugging Judge out there every single game in the three-hole if he is not the best hitter. If you don't know, the three-hole is reserved for the best hitter in your lineup because he's going to come up in the first inning and he's probably going to come up with a person on base and you want to be able to get multiple people, uh, multiple people on base uh, with the cleanup hitter behind you. Judge right now, I mean, just the strikeouts are annoying, but I don't really care about the strikeouts. It's about put the bat on the ball. Like, seriously, put the bat on the ball. If you just put the bat on the ball, good things happen, and Judge was doing that. And a lot of his pitches, he says that he's just missing his pitches. A lot of his pitches, he's like swinging under them. He's missing a lot of pitches. If you look at it, almost twice in that bat, you'll probably hear the announcer say, Judge fouls one straight back. It's like... The whole time. And when you're following a ball straight back, you're, probably, you're all on it. You're just swinging right under the baseball. He's like swinging under the baseball so it's like it's popping up the whole time. Into the three hole, it's kind of like he's like a black hole right now. We need production out of that spot. Um, I think Girardi sometimes, you know, gives these guys a little bit too much credit. But um, 
I, I think if you're going to let him figure it out out of the three hole, then that's fine. But just, you know, we need production out of him. Like, seriously. Uh, we, we really do. But the, the great thing to be able to look forward to is that this week we're going to start getting some of our troops back. And Tanaka's actually coming back off of the DL and pitching tomorrow. And then this is why, even though we were five, game, we were five games back, we can kind of still look at things with a positive perspective or a positive light. One, we're two and a half games up on the wild card. Whatever happens today, I don't know. But we're, we're at least two games up on the wild card. And, you know, so it's a, it's a nice lead. Um, but we're getting our troops back. And the fact is, is that all season, we, ever since the injury that happened on June 3rd, uh, June 13th, sorry, the team has not been the same. We have not been in sync. And then now, hopefully, we get these guys back and maybe the, the offense can start gelling again and people can start hitting right, you know, the, the way that they're supposed to. Like Starlin Castro, hopefully Greg Bird, which I believe they both had hits today, two hits each today, which is great. Um, and then hopefully down the line you get Matt Holiday, and you know we'll go from there. Let me know in the comments. You know what? I'm think I'm gonna do like a little bit of a Q and A, so you guys ask questions and I'll answer them tomorrow about what do you you know before the game about what do you think the Yankees should do in their lineup. Uh, when these guys come back, who do you think, you know, things like that, or any kind of Yankee questions that you want to ask me, make sure you leave that in the comments. But you got to take, you got to take a uh, look at things very, uh, po try to look at things very positively right now. And I was talking on Twitter late last night to um, uh, to Shelly, who on Twitter, you know, she's a person that's been watching my videos for a long time, and she is, oh man, Joseph, this is not a World Series team. This is not a World Series team. Look. All you have to do is get in the dance. If you get in the dance, you have a chance. That's how I look at it. You get in the dance, you have a chance. Anybody that can be able to get in can be able to get hot. Derek Jeter says the best teams make the playoffs, the hottest team wins. So if you take a look, even in 2014, um, back it was the Giants. Yes, it was an even year, but it was the Giants and it was the Royals Two wild card teams made the World Series, and you know what? Anything can happen. Pitching can get hot, hitting can get hot, and you know, just anything can be able to happen to be able to, you know, whatever. You, you know, once we get past, if we don't win the division, if we get past the wild card game, with none of those teams behind us have any kind of shutdown pitching as fearful, uh, you know, so we don't have to be as fearful as when we face Keiko. Then, if we get that home game in Yankee Stadium, I'm super confident. We're going to be able to make it out and go into the ALDS, which is what I want. And the Yankees will definitely be playing with house money at that point in time. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. What are your expectations for this team? Um, I really think that the Yankees, right now, they're in their situation. They're not that far from the Red Sox, but the Red Sox are slightly better. They're getting the hits at the right times, the right places. And that just means that your offense is gelling in the clutch. You know, those things happen. Yankees were doing that earlier in the season when they were on that 21 and 9 stretch, and I think that they can be able to do it again because they showed the ability to do that. Um, but again, man, it's it's all about the perspective and the way that you kind of look at it. There's no reason to get down, even though we lost two out of three from the Red Sox. Look at the entire week, this rivalry week. Yeah, we lost two out of three uh, against the Red Sox. We swept the Mets. Lost two, uh, lost two out of three versus. The Red Sox, again, it's not what you want. You know, if you kind of jumble those games out a little bit different, maybe if you split the Mets and then win the series against the Red Sox, maybe you're looking at a different place in the standings. Um, or maybe not, but that's just baseball. You just got to play the games in front of you. And we just have to worry about the Tigers right now. And if the Tigers, you know, Tigers have nothing to play for. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And if we can be able to come out, and we're not facing Justin Verlander, because he just finished yesterday, we can be able to, um, to with our pitchers, be able to win this series. You know, I want to take two out of three. Sweet. Yes, hopefully. But if we can take two out of three, that'll put us in a great position because this weekend we're facing Seattle, a team that is, you know, chasing us right behind us. And you see what we did to Seattle, up in Seattle. I'm not fearful of that pitching. Paxton is still on the DL. God knows what's happening with King Felix. They can hit. They can hit. Don't sleep on Robinson. Oh, my man's Robinson Cano. Dilla Cano. But he's, um, but 
the Yankees could be able to hit. Maybe, hopefully, by that time, we have a lot of our guns back. Um, but, guys, it's not a time to get negative right now. We made it about 123 games right now. Don't give up on the team now. We can be able to make it. Uh, but, you know, let me know in the comments what you guys think, how you guys feel. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time on the channel. And thank you so much for watching. But as I always say, make sure you do keep your pinstripes on. Keep them strong. Let's go Yankees, man. Peace.